Ja. Welcome back to episode 40 of G'day from the USA. I'm your host, Lady Amanda, and I thought it would be fun to have a chat about what it's really like for an Australian living and working in the USA. Episode 40, guys! <laughs> My co-hosts this week have been bribed to come on, although one of them actually bought me gifts, so thank you. Brandy was, of course, born in California, raised in Arizona and lived in Arkansas. She now floats around but currently resides in Oregon. She's about as American as... Tell me. It's your, it's your call today. Jesus. As Jesus. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was a big call. <laughs> I, have, I had he was no American. words. I had no words. Uh, what are you as American? What would you say? Our other special guest is Karen. She was born and raised in Minnesota in the Midwest and currently lives in Vancouver, Washington. And she's about as American as. What would I'd you say? I'd say pumpkin pie because it's almost pumpkin Thanksgiving. Pie. I like that. Nice. I'm going to say lattes because I'm, I'm a coffee snob. Yes, and we were just saying we need coffee. I've got the caffeine headache, self-inflicted, yeah. mm-hmm. ashamed of myself. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming on. A yeah. huge episode, 40. 40. <laughs> I mean, Woo-hoo. we More didn't think we'd get to two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 10 at a pinch because I'm determined. Mm. But 40? Yeah. I mean, I'm proud of myself, I've got to say. Uh, pat on my back. Karen has bought gifts. She bought, did you, you made pumpkin? I made them this time from scratch. What would you call them? They're called, well, it was supposed to be a cake and I made it into a muffin because okay. I'm not a Karen's cake person. Karen's magic muffins. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds bad. <laughs> There's no drugs in them. <laughs> Sorry, Karen, girls. We need it's a little caffeine. early in the morning. <laughs> They're pumpkin muffins. Um, i got a random question for you. I've not tasted it yet, but thank you. Um, does anyone call you Kaz? No. Really? Because in Australia, you'd just be called Kaz. Oh, I really? Like, I like that better than yeah. Karen. Yeah. Yeah. Because How do you of all get of the, the... Karen. Yeah. Don't be a Karen. How I'm do you a... get the Z in there? Oh, like we can massacre any name. <laughs> 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 like Darren would be Daz, Dazza. Oh. My brother's name's Adrian and everyone called him like Aza. What would you call Brandy. 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 <laughs> Brand. Yeah, Brandy. That's right. We probably would shorten it. Like I said, the more we shorten it, the more we like you. So just like Brandy, Brandy. Oh, so you don't Brand. like me very much. <laughs> I'd probably call you Brand or Brand. <laughs> I'd call you B. Yeah, there you go. Just B. That's what I used to call my cat. Boris would turned into B. I did want to say I'm so sorry about Boris. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. That Karen's was a tough cat one. sadly passed away this week. She fought hard. And she has the debt to prove it. Yes, I do. <laughs> we were just saying, was it three grand? No, it was more like five. Oh. <laughs> but you know what? We tried everything. I, I can say it. that I, in my heart, I did everything for yeah, that guy. I would so. 100% do it. Yeah. It was hard because it was unexpected. And usually my cats pass away because they're old. And this one, we he wasn't, but he had had a tough life. So Aww. At least you tried and yeah. you gave him a great The last year and a half ending. were awesome. So that's all that How matters. old was he? He was only like eight. Oh, and where did you get him from? But he was a rescue kitty, so he came from Furry Friends, the rescue that I volunteer Aww. with. Um, this is amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. She said they were a little undercooked, but now that they're so moist. Yeah, it was perfect. I couldn't talk because I was eating. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if Brandy's quiet, she's yeah. enjoying it. <laughs> she can't keep her bloody mouth shut. That's a huge compliment. <laughs> huge compliment. Thank so you. have you guys had a great week? I mean, Karen, obviously not. <laughs> well, actually, my cat died. Yeah. It's been two weeks ago. Two weeks. So, Okay, so but it was got better. Uh, yeah, well, it's been a tough week, but it ended on a good note. Do Yesterday tell. was good. Oh, I thought you meant here. Oh, me. well, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and we're starting this weekend on an awesome note. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're going to be the dynamic trio. We are. Um, <laughs> Brandy turned up and she done her makeup, her hair. And we're like, you look so good today. What's the occasion? She goes, you're going to make me do your bloody TikToks. <laughs> exactly. I am that friend. <laughs> yeah, you are. Thank you, guys. Uh, I had a great week, not to bring it back to me. <laughs> but yesterday I got to spend the day with my niece 
and she lives down towards Newport on the coast. We had a very cool day. Uh, when I turned up, she had the megawatt smile. Like, honestly, she was so happy to see me. Oh, Made my yay. day. Like, literally, I don't think I've ever seen a smile this big. She literally, like, million watt. Uh, we went, got our nails done. We went to the beach. It was a beautiful, oh, wow. oh it was a beautiful day. It was, nice. like, sunny and it like, mm. felt like summer down there. Nice. We went shopping. We went out to lunch. Have you guys been to Arctic Circle? No. It's like... A burgery place, like think Wendy's, mm. but it has this special fry sauce and it has chicken, like rings, <laughs> like an onion ring, but it's chicken. Interesting. Yeah, apparently it's like a, I don't know. People apparently love it, it's and it's like that. It not merit any, very many around. I was gonna say, is it like a family owned, or is it? I don't know. I might have to it can't be a research. chain or not a very big I think one. It's some, I think it was bigger in the day. It's like a bit old school. Mm. Like not a diner but more. Mm. More like fast food? Oh, it's a fast food. It is. Mm. It's like a like a takeaway restaurant. Like, it's, but you can eat in there. Yeah. I need to stop talking. Never heard of it. I haven't either. Um, <laughs> we had a massage. You and I. Oh, yeah. We oh had my a foot God. massage. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> well, I'm thinking like whole body, you know, hour and a half, but we just had a 30 minute yeah, foot massage. massage, but it was probably the best foot massage I've had. Yeah, we did it at the mall. And in Australia, mm. there's these massage like little places everywhere, like every shopping center. See, there's not many shopping centers here. You look like I'm talking crazy, but look in Australia, there's shopping centers, which is like mini malls. There are in Vancouver, not where you live out in the country, though. There's not a lot. Well, that, I know, obviously, but there's what is there? Only Vancouver Mall. No, there's well, there's lots of little. We call them strip malls. Yeah, see, that's way different. Mm. Like I'm talking, you walk in a Inside. door. Did you know that the first indoor mall was in Minnesota? I do. Was it the largest one? Uh, no, that's the Mall of America. But there's a smaller one called Southdale, and that was the huh. back in I think the fifties. Interesting. Did you go there? Yeah, all the time. Oh, and was it old school or is it? Well, it is now. I mean, it's but has not it much got of like anything old, now. You know how like when you go to Jansen Beach, it's got the old sign of what it was back in. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, they're trying to re- re- revitalize it. So <laughs> it's not that far from the Mall of America. So Interesting. I like it. Um, I have some shout outs. Do tell. Do you have any? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David. Of the David and Will. David! (laughs) Happy Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. I mean, I'm going to be honest, he doesn't look a day over 30. He doesn't. Like, you would believe it was his 30th, not 50th. Yes, and and he's so vibrant that you wouldn't think that he was 50. His personality is so vibrant. Hey, 50 isn't old. I mean, yeah. my 50s. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that when, <laughs> when you turn – this is what David said to me. Like, it was depressing turning 50 because when you're 30, 40, no big deal. But when you turn 50, he was very – yeah, mm. he was like, this is a harsh reality. No, no. I mean, I feel like he should not feel that way because he's just like such an awesome person. And it really is. his personality is, is just – Big and fun and loving and yeah. Well, I, I don't think I've laughed as hard for my entire life. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, because mm-hmm. we've grown up together. So um, he's just hysterical, and yeah. yeah, he's just achieved so much. I'm so proud of him. But I yeah. just want to give a huge like happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, That's it. Do you know? <laughs> I'm going to tell you some <laughs> random fact here. When you sing happy birthday in America. Okay, you sing it, happy birthday to you. Hip, hip. Yeah, and then it's like dead silence. And then in Australia, it's like, hip, hip, hooray, hip, hip, hooray. And it goes on and on and on. It's like a thing after the happy birthday. They do that in England too because when I was – Yes. Actually, it was – we were in Scotland. No, we were in northern England. Yeah. And we had like Siri in our B&B where we were staying and Lori was playing around with it. And she's like, sing happy birthday to Karen. And they did the hip and it made me hooray. laugh at the end. She's like, why are you laughing? What is that all about? And I'm like, well, it's, it's a Amanda. Aussie thing. Yeah. Because <laughs> often we'll do it. Like we'll be in a, like a room or something and everyone will be doing it. And then I'll be literally the lone soul like hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, where am I? Because <laughs> you're used to every person chanting it. You know what I mean? 
People say like smart butt things after the deal, or like they'll say like and one to grow on, or and many more. And yeah, uh. <laughs> or they or they'll like put some smart butt remark at the end of the happy birthday song. Mm. What's yeah. the smart ass thing? Yeah, yeah. I like it. Um, Karen, not the Karen, Karen. That's sitting here, but my lovely friend from Down Under uh, gave us some Aussie words for you guys this week. Oh, man. Oh, no. So I just want to say thanks for listening. I um, also wanted to give a shout out to Tammy. We grew up together. We literally lived next door to one another and we'd have a, like a little gate in our fence so we could sneak into our backyard. Nice. And they had a little pool. So I would sneak across and go to theirs. Oh, nice. Without Tammy. <laughs> Without Tammy. <laughs> You can see that. I love your time. Um, last but not least, sorry, I was just eating my little pumpkin. Was <laughs> it pumpkin muffin? Yes. Okay. Um, Emma and Chelsea, I met them on the boat to Mexico. God, it sounds like I just like smuggled my way into Mexico. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Jumped on the boat. <laughs> um, it was a cruise. A People ship. are usually coming on the boat to America from Mexico. Exactly, but not me. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm on my way to Mexico by the little, you know. Little rowboat. Row yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, um, Emma and Chelsea, bloody awesome. Met them on the cruise and we'd sort of seen them like many times and we finally like chatted to them the last night before we left. Amazing. I ended up having a shot with one of them, with what? Anna. Wow. Oh, I know. Bad influence. I can't remember what it was called. Like the <laughs> mini uh, peer group pressure. Um, anyway, I wish we had a hung out with them sooner because they were really cool. But um, Emma did start listening to our podcast and gave me some feedback. She said that sign that Jason Momoa did. Do you guys know what it is? Yep. What is it? It's the Hawaii sign. Hang loose. Yeah. Hang loose. Karen nailed it. She said, Emma said it was the hang loose sign. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew it was the Hawaiian thing, but I wouldn't have said it was a hang loose. Is it a surfer thing? I think it is. I think it's a Hawaiian thing or it's, is it a surfer thing? It's Hawaiian, but it's also Adopted the, surfers by the surfers all do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, she also said they love to splurge on crumble cookies. Bloody love them. Do you guys, have yeah. you ever? Yeah, I've had them a few times and Don't they're okay. Love. Actually, I've had them here at your house. Oh. Remember when the girls were here and you you bought Annie? Someone bought like a six pack of that them or me. something. Yeah, I'm the generous one. And then we like cut them all up and shared little bites. Yes, yeah. That's all you need because if you cut them in quarters, I mean they're real sweet and yeah, I like them. I mean, once that was my best cookie ever, but they're great to. They, I like their variety of flavors and the special edition. I don't know. Every week it's like something different. Yeah, that's probably why I don't love them is because they're. They're super sweet. Oh, super sweet. I mean, you'd die. Yeah, I would. I would have died when I first came from Australia, but now I'm Americanized. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I'm not even kidding. I remember having a maple bacon donut from Voodoo Donuts, and it was so sweet that by the time we got home, I'd gone to the movies. By the time we got home, I was actually sick, like yeah. vomited. I was like, that was the sweetest thing I've ever had in my life. And I couldn't even have those peanut butter cups. So sweet. Mm-hmm. Anyway, now I could probably just eat a whole pack. Yeah. It's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame. Uh, anyway, thank you, Emma. I hope you're having a great day in Arizona. They live in New Mesa. Have you heard oh, of it? Oh, Mesa. That's Mesa. by Mesa. Phoenix. That's our next destination. Yes. Oh, Emma, we're coming your way. I literally did, <laughs> I did say this. I literally said that I want to do a little trip. Don't know when, next year sometime maybe. Don't know. Um, okay, are you ready, guys? Guess the Aussie word. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> I always butcher these. I know, but this is from Karen. Um, thanks, Kaz. And a couple of them I wasn't sure if it was American as well, and I sort of said to her, are you sure that's Australian? And she's like, eh, maybe not. So you may have a chance. Okay. Okay, number one, cool bananas. That's American. Something's cool. That's it's American. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something cool, great, yeah. no worries. Yeah, cool bananas. Yeah. Let's go to whatever today. Yeah, cool bananas. Okay. Uh, number two, a lucky country. Oh, God. Mm. The, the lucky country. I'm going to Australia? the lucky country. Australia? Of course. 
<laughs> Why is Australia lucky? Yeah, it's always because been called they, the lucky yeah. country. Uh-huh. It's just like the land down under, the lucky country. Land down Co- under, everyone knows. Yeah, but no, I've never we, heard lucky because we're not country. going to prison anymore. <laughs> there you go. You might during COVID <laughs> in Australia. No, but that's how <laughs> Australia was started. It was a penal prison. colony. Yeah, yeah it was. Oh. We are all descended from convicts. That's why. I mean, I wasn't. My ancestors drove the boat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm royalty. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, it's not Lady Amanda for no reason, guys. Come on. Uh, number three, Mexican. Uh, Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, it makes sense, but no. Food? No. That's my Where's first go to when I hear Mexican. Let's go. Let's margarita. <laughs> right? We're down. Oh, you guys crack me up. It is a person from like the south of Queensland or New South Wales border. So, like a Victorian, which, like, I'm um, okay. Picture a map of America. I would be like Florida. Like Melbourne, Victoria would be Florida. So, it's like calling them a Mexican because they're like down the bottom of Australia. So, <laughs> uh, like in reference to us, because Mexico's at the bottom of yeah, the so that's why we're called oh, okay. Mexicans because but we're it's, it's kind of at fun, the bottom. it was kind of funny to me when I was there. I thought like Northern Australia felt more like our Florida. Yes, it's kind of like flipped. It is because the because equator, the Great Barrier Reef, is up yeah, there, and there are exactly more. yeah. So the equator is like you when you go down to Florida, you're getting closer to the equator. When you go up to Queensland, you're going yeah. Happy to hit, to give you more geography lessons if you like. I mean, that's all I know, but um, <laughs> number four, be there or be square. Oh, that's American. That's, yeah, that's, that's American. What, I, I yeah. said this to her, are you sure that's not American? Yeah. And she's like, eh, yeah, don't leave that one out. But I thought, no, I will test it out. It's like they say that a lot with the square dancing. Oh, I wasn't thinking that literal. I just thought I it was know. like be there or be square, like be there or you're not cool. Or, or, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Whenever they would have square dancing, like when I was in Arkansas, they still had square dancing. And, and it always said, when they would post the little signs oh, telling okay. you the place, it always said, be, be there, there, be square. I think always. that's a play on words, like ha, 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 be right. there, be square. Yeah, because yeah, you're going square. Um, speaking of dancing. We're going dancing with my mom. Ooh. Hey, mom's Thanksgiving. Coming. Awesome. No, no. At Thanksgiving, my mom has put out that we're going to go dancing. Oh. I don't know if Deb will go. Or, well, I don't think Deb will dance. Okay. I'm sure she'll go. But, yes, my That's mom cool. is all wow. about dancing. Okay. Well, I wasn't talking about you. So I'm she glad you wrote like it back to you. <laughs> well, you said dancing. I, I was, had to speaking tell you. of dancing. Yes, at a bar. You and I Ooh. are going to go learn hip-hop or something. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Oh. Karen? Mm. Yeah, that was my reaction too. But I got roped in, so you can get roped in too. I mean, I, I am here said. doing the podcast, so oh, God, right. there you go. <laughs> Tit for tat okay. is what we would say. No, no, that's fair call. So every episode you do, I'll do a dance class. Ooh, oh, that's uh, not fair. You've you've got a couple banked up, so I owe you. Is this your third time on? Yeah, I think so. I owe you three. Um. Yeah, Ooh, my cat food's a hit. It is. Karen um, <laughs> so kindly bought some cat food, and little Sydney, three legged Sydney, is like, "What is this?" Uh, finally, crack a tinny. Crack a. Oh, this one's Aussie. Yeah, crack a tinny. It sounds like margarita or margar. No, what is it? Crack. Well, tinny is a can of beer. So oh. crack, oh, okay. crack a tinny, tinny. Okay. crack open a beer. Oh, okay. Let's yeah. get this party started. I know something to do with alcohol. <laughs> Why did I know that? Of course, that? <laughs> because Australians, all they do is drink. Except you. No, you know what? On the boat, Emma, <laughs> this is about Emma again. Um, I swear I must look like an alcoholic because every time I was, ran mm. into Emma, I bloody had a drink in my hand. The, the thing is, I mean, you know me, I do not drink. Okay, and like I've had a little Kahlua every now and again, but on the boat we had the unlimited uh, alcohol pass or whatever. Mm-hmm. It was like 20 bucks a day. It was nothing. Um, long story short, I would get a Kahlua and Bailey's mixed together and I'd like have the thing and I'd sit on it forever and then it would like the ice would melt so I'd just go get a new one, you know. But every time I swear I run into it, I had a drink in my hand. 
My mom was like that. She would, wasn't a big drinker, but she would, yeah, she would have yeah, like, one, one would last her like all night long. <laughs> yeah. And half the time I didn't even drink half of it, but I did. Like I maybe had two in a night. It was a <laughs> big night, guys. <laughs> Ooh, that's huge that for is, you. Yeah, that's not huge. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I would recommend doing the unlimited like drink thing. Even if you don't drink, even if you have two like drinks or even soft drinks. But that's bad for Americans because we want oh. to get our money's worth. Oh, exactly. We're to drink more than right. we normally do. That's why yeah. I didn't really like eating at the like buffets and that because you just kept like you just kept having that mentality like you know. Yeah, I got to get my $20 worth even though yeah. you would have paid $20 worth for one plate and yes. and not finished it. Right. Because you're at a buffet, you're going to keep eating. You want we your money's we worth, yeah. avoid them at all costs. Yeah. yeah. Well, and they're germy. Pl- oh, that's what I was going to say. Like, <laughs> I have issues gross. that, like, when I see, like, remember Sizzler? Yes. yes. And, the, and it was like that big salad bar. Yeah. And, like, oh, I I'd love say, the like, salad bar. Half avocados. That's my memory of it. Um, and I'd see people, like, touching the avocado. Mm, oh. Yeah, no, I don't want it now. And oh. I'm just like, ew. Oh, I have one better. So, Golden Corral is, like, the I've most I've been there famous once in buffet. Virginia. Yeah. 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 Um, so it, we were sitting there when the kids were smaller, we would go, um, and the last time we went, there was a child, there's a, let's picture a chocolate fountain. Ooh, I'm picturing it. Yeah. So it's this tall, Are like strawberries, like three tier chocolate yeah. fountain. Marshmallows. And there's, yes, there's yep. marshmallows, strawberries, bananas, little, oh. little cheesecakes, like all this stuff, yes, and there's sticks, mm. and so you stab your little thing, you yes. hold it into the chocolate fountain, let it all get on there, and then it kind of hardens after a while, you know, when you set it back on your plate. Right. We were watching kids put their whole no. hands oh, in the yeah. chocolate oh, fountain. My gosh. No, <laughs> that was it. We never went Done. again. Oh yeah, <laughs> Done. Yeah, I, I remember going once and it wouldn't have raved about it. Like I remember thinking, no, the this food is, is like, mediocre at oh, best. Wouldn't yeah. even call it that. Well, it all tastes the same. It Boy. does. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite? Like, if you had to go to a buffet, what would be your favorite? Probably Chinese. Mm. Or Indian. There mm. was an Indian buffet in Arkansas that I really liked. And I'm I've very... Heard of an Indian buffet. Right? I'm very yeah. sensitive to spicy food. And I was like eating the food and crying and wiping my nose. <laughs> <What>? oh, no. <laughs> and you enjoyed this. And, and I <laughs> loved it. It was, it tasted so good, but okay. it just like my allergies, you know, but it was, it was delicious if you can handle the eat. I couldn't. Mm. I, I can't. can. Karen oh, could. I it love, would be good for Karen. I love spicy hot things. Okay, yeah. explain. Riddle me this. What is enjoyable about it? Because once your tongue is on fire, your mouth, your lips are burning, you can't taste anything. How are you enjoying it? <laughs> like, what is it? Like, I honestly it's can't not, understand well, it. You, I'm not as sensitive as you are because of my sinus. I have really bad sinuses. Uh-huh. And so a lot of times I can't taste things unless they're really strong. Oh. So I think that's more. And okay. you kind of build up a tolerance. Yeah, that's, that's what true. I was going to say. I think some people like eat spicy food from the time they're young. And mm-hmm. so like something that would be really hot to me isn't hot at all to them. That's true. Annie, my niece, I saw yesterday, took her some Takis. Have you heard of those? Yep. Yes. Like chips, but they're so spicy. I can't even like put my tongue to it and I'm like on fire for a week. And she's like eating them like they're bloody candy. The kids love them. How? They're so popular. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yes. I so tried popular. one with Izzy yeah. when she was here. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she loves those damn things. They're, Shout they're out gross. to Izzy, your granddaughter. Izzy, Izzy. we hey, miss Izzy. you. Yeah, we do. <laughs> uh, so, guys, I thought we could talk about Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's coming up this week. It is. I am thinking I'm going to maybe cook. Oh Ooh. yeah, yeah. I was thinking I'm going to cook a little turkey breast. Nice. Um, my favorite turkey, not turkey. My favorite Thanksgiving is. Uh, green beans, green bean oh, casserole. The casserole, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, I don't like that. Well, I don't like the Midwestern version of it because it's really soupy and it's got. That, oh no, nah, I like it like, real. Okay, with those. I like, like green beans. I just onions don't like on the top. Green bean casserole. You know the like, crunchy ooh. ones. Yeah. So my sister does likes it the traditional way, and I made it with like a garlic mushroom soup instead of the regular mushroom soup, and I put. Um, fresh onion and garlic and mushrooms in it and, you know, just kind of like took everyone. it up a little level as I do. And she told mom, 
mom, you have to make that from now on. Don't let Brandy make it anymore. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the right way. She wants the, she wants the <laughs> plain, the meal. just Ugh. green beans, Gross. mushroom, and those little French onions, and that's oh, it. To me, it's wow. just like a soupy mess. It's like you just yeah. ruined my green beans. Oh, no. Yeah. Like, I love them. <clears throat> um, what I love about Thanksgiving is it's actually my favorite American holiday. Like, we obviously don't have it in Australia because... Yeah, it's American. Yeah, American. American. <laughs> um, There's no pilgrims. There's no pilgrims, right. It's just convicts. Yeah. So what I love most is that it's like Christmas but without the presents. It's just about the food mm-hmm. and it's just about the people, the family, like the family yeah. and friends. Like, I love that. So I want to tell a story. Oh. My nephew. Once upon a time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My nephew moved to England mm-hmm. and obviously they don't celebrate Thanksgiving there. Mm-hmm. But we were just chatting the other day, and he was telling me that his wife, and or I'm sorry, his girlfriend, and his girlfriend's family do like a small Thanksgiving for him. That Aww. is so is sweet. That, that is the sweetest. So shout out to Alex. And Alex, that's amazing. Her family. For I wish someone would so do an Easter like that for me. Because oh. in Australia... Easter would be like your Thanksgiving. Like we have the huge meal, we have ham, we have turkey, we all get together. Like it's it's like a Thanksgiving. I think didn't didn't that be a wasn't that a thing here like old school? Yeah. 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 Well it was like you go to church in the morning and, and then, then you, you have, have a, a big huge meal. dinner. Usually yeah. ham, not so much turkey, I yeah, think. It's but ham. Yeah, a huge yeah, like it feels family like get together. Here. Ham and potatoes and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, I think you know religion. I think it depends on where kinda... you where you live. I think right. it's, yeah. I think it's still a yeah, big I miss in, that in the Midwest. Well, I guess I have Thanksgiving now, but yeah, when Easter rolls around, it's like nothing. Yeah, I think it it's really depends on like your religious background. I think. More mm-hmm. religious families still do that. I think okay. so too. Yeah, because yeah, in Australia, it wouldn't be dependent on religion. It's just, it would be like Thanksgiving. And yeah. it would be like you waking up one day and Thanksgiving just being like, oh, what are you doing? Mm, nothing, just might go to Macca's for lunch. Like, you know what I mean? It's just right. like nothing. Right. Like, you'd be like, what's what's happened? Yeah, um, a lot of businesses close on Easter Sunday. And, and, and like Karen said, it, it does depend a lot on where you are. I think the West Coast is not as, they don't celebrate the religious holidays as, as well, of course, Christmas. But mm-hmm. yeah, I think out here it's less common. Yeah, so Good Friday, Easter Sunday, Easter Monday, they're all public holidays in Australia. Oh, not Monday. Here. Yeah, and Friday, oh. everything is closed. Like it used to be the one day of the year you'd not print a newspaper. No stores are open. Interesting. It's like 100%. So they close Friday, down. open Saturday, and close yes. Sunday, Monday? Monday they'll be open, oh. but it'll be a public holiday. So banks and things oh, will be yeah. closed. And it'll be maybe limited hours. But our stores are open so like narrow of a margin compared to yours. You like, know. We'll shut at 5.30. <laughs> Yeah, so before COVID, we, um, so on Thanksgiving used to be it was always closed. Mm -hmm. And then it started to be where they would, so Black Friday, I'm assuming Black Friday is not a thing in Australia. No, it was quite shocking when you just said that. I'm like, Black Friday? And then it just had to (laughs) be that it was a shopping day. Shopping day. It's a huge shopping day. It's like all the stores. Yeah, day after Christmas. Yeah. Is our Boxing Day? Oh, thank you. I was like having a mental <laughs> blank. Boxing Day. Boxing Day. Boxing Day. In England too. Yeah, yeah. Black and, Friday and Canada. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Boxing Day. Yeah. yeah so yeah. we have we have Black Friday, which is a huge, huge shopping day. So, Everyone goes Christmas shopping. Mm-hmm. All the stores put like deep discounts, at least on a yeah. couple things, and then it started like at first it was like. Six in the morning they opened when they wouldn't normally open till 10. Right. Then all of a sudden they're opening at midnight. And then all of a sudden they're starting to open Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Day. Yeah. It sad. just got ridiculous, yeah. right? But now they're now, pushing back though. I know yeah. I saw Target was not doing They're not opening on Thanksgiving yeah. Day. So COVID like, did have a few benefits. Positive impacts, I think, on a our society. They could get a day yeah. Off and, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. that's not right. Everyone yeah. should have the day. Yeah, yeah. Right. well, it's def- it's a made up thing. It's retailers, you know, right. the black mints that they were finally out of the red, oh. and then they were in the black. It's an accounting term. 
I'm <laughs> glad we clarified. So that. there you go. Thank you, Karen, no with idea. my facts. <laughs> Thank you, Karen, with your random facts. Uh, yeah, I don't no, know it all, no, Karen. No, yeah. <laughs> it's probably good you clarified that one, though. Yeah, because black oh, sounds bad. Bad. Right. You never know. <laughs> so I've got a question for you guys. Okay. What is Thanksgiving? It's when the pilgrims came and the Indians. I have the answer here, so I'm just going to see if you can massacre this or you (laughs) actually do know. It's when they came together and had a big Celebrating harvest. Yeah. Okay. So this is the official official term. Thanksgiving Day is an annual national holiday in the United States and Canada, celebrating the harvest and other blessings of the past year. Americans generally believe that their Thanksgiving is modelled on a 1621 harvest feast shared by the English colonists, pilgrims of Mm -hmm. Plymouth and the Wampanoag. Okay. People, the American holiday is particularly <laughs> rich in legend and symbolism and the traditional fare of the Thanksgiving meal typically includes turkey, bread, stuffing, potatoes, cranberries and pumpkin pie. Love, love, yes. love, 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 love all yes. of them. But the Canadian Thanksgiving is earlier than ours. Yeah, is it October? I think so. Oh. So when is Thanksgiving here? It's always the, is it the third? Nope. Fourth? Yep. The fourth Thursday of the of yep. November. It's celebrated on the fourth Thursday in November. Yes, as them. specified in a joint resolution passed by Congress in 1941 and a proclamation issued by President Franklin D. Roosevelt in 1942. What was your favourite president? I mean, you don't have had to have lived in his lifetime. Like, you know, George? No. Ronald Reagan? God, you, oh, are you guys no. even American? Oh, You're like no. looking at me blank. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald Reagan? So Ronald Reagan JFK, is my first. Jimmy Carter, okay. I, I don't know that he's my favorite because I don't really know a lot about him, but he's no, the no, first no, no. president I remember no. as a child. That doesn't make it your favorite. I, I remember you know, in, did, I have a good answer. Sorry, I'm okay. my political views come out here. <laughs> Hillary Clinton, because we all know she ran the show. <laughs> Interesting. Um, I remember being in grade four doing a, a project on the Olympics and I remember it being that president that you said, Ronald Reagan. Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> She's that old? The first president I remember was Nixon and I remember I was oh. in grade school when he was wow. during all of the Watergate stuff Ooh, and he got, oh. he got re-elected and it was really weird and I don't know why I remember this but um, there's this kids magazine called Highlights and mm-hmm. it, uh, they always like poll kids like who do you want who's going to win president and like I don't know they have a, like a this a massive track where like ninety percent of the time the kids are right because yeah. they're getting it from their parents obviously oh, um, yeah but there was a little saying and it was so funny it was Nixon Nixon he's our man throw him a govern in the garbage can Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm like I'm like why do I remember that uh, and of course he did get reelected but then he. And then it all came <laughs> well, crashing it, down. Well, then it came Thank out. You. It was still go, it was going on at the time, but the stuff didn't come out till wow. after. Wow, I definitely know the president. I don't like. <laughs> yeah, despise. I can, I can think of who Let that is. Guess. It was recently. <laughs> um, did he make America great again? <laughs> he absolutely did not. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Although he claimed to. <laughs> Let's not say the name then. Yeah. I'll try to keep it yeah. politically Thank free. Yeah. Well, you asked the favorite. I did ask the favorite. I, sh- I feel the like favorite. I should I'm, say the least No, favorite. I was trying to put everything in a positive spin and he just <laughs> I'm crushing yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> I say Jimmy Carter. I think he was underrated. Oh. And he did so much. Jimmy. And well, he's still alive, barely, but he's still alive. But he did so much after. Yeah. And he did Habitat for Humanity and was really... Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. He, he, into it, like, when he was, like, 90, he was still helping build houses that. and that kind That's of stuff. Cool. So. Um, I really uh, liked... Um, um, Barack Obama. Yeah, he was cool. But the one... Go back a little bit. Um, he was You're murdered. Like JFK. JFK. <laughs> no, not that one. Another one. You're always talking about I JFK. I do love JFK, but the other one, go back. Abraham Lincoln. One. Yes, Abraham Lincoln. Oh, wow. A little bit. That's a lot of yeah. bit. <laughs> yeah, right. Was he number two? No. Was... You and your bloody bottle. It was the <laughs> crinkliest water bottle I've ever met. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to I be quiet. I was wondering what that was. Uh, so what was it like growing up as a kid celebrating Thanksgiving? Like was it always the big meal like? Oh, yeah. Describe it. Like, imagine I'm Australian and I didn't grow up here. 
How would you explain it to me? So we did, um, my mom was married to an Arab. So our Thanksgiving was like kind of mixed. We did have the turkey, but we had like Arabic stuffing. Shit. <laughs> oh, you and your talky hands today I are know, smacking I know, everything. <laughs> I know, I'm a mess. Um, I haven't had coffee. That's the problem. Okay, have a sip of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so the Arabic stuffing is like a rice oh. with um, pine nuts, and Ooh. it has like it has like cinnamon and in it and allspice. Oh, it doesn't sound good. Thanksgiving, it's but no. I no, guess but it it's what you make good. of it. Yeah, yeah. And we had some of the, you know, of course we had pumpkin pie or whatever, but we we Not had my some Arabic I don't really stuff like too. It. I don't either. I like Deviled pumpkin eggs. Pie. Pumpkin pie. Deviled Ooh, eggs wasn't on deviled your eggs. list. Oh, that's not. Well, I haven't really not, made a list. I was going to say. Mm. Well, Karen, well, you was, just said the traditional. No, I was going to say, like, what are you? Whatever. I'll ask that in a minute. What foods we had do you like? <laughs> really cool, and I still have it. So I don't have much from my family, but we had this cool platter that that we. That oh, that has is a turkey cool. on it. You serve That's the right. turkey. Hey. Oh, but by then, platter she means like a, a dish. dish that you okay, serve. She showed me a phone. In. I was picturing it full of food, okay. but it was empty. Uh, well, <laughs> it's at my house right now. <laughs> okay. So it actually is kind of funny because Lori and I use it as that's a place where we put our library books when we're done and whoever's going to the library returns them. Oh, that's cool. That's That's so cute. You got library books. It's so like old school. (laughs) That's me. I love it. (laughs) No, I really like that. But on the back of the platter, and we used to read this every year, which was so silly. It talks about the turkey. It says, this famous symbol of Thanksgiving is a is a native bird of North America. Benjamin Franklin proposed that the turkey rather than the eagle be chosen as the symbol of federal authority, but was outvoted by the Continental Congress. That would be a little that. weird. Oh, yeah, Benjamin tur- Franklin was the only one that wasn't a president, wasn't he? Right. And yeah. But he's the only one on a note, like on a dollar, not mm. a dollar bill. Isn't he the five dollar bill? I think so. That's not a president. We haven't looked at cash so long. Well, we have no, no idea. I don't remember. I don't, I don't do coins. They're just confusing to me. And when you do have it, it's all, always a 20 because that's what you got out of the ATM. ATM. Right. Uh, do you have the same excitement for Thanksgiving that you do for Christmas? Like as a kid. <clears throat> Obviously these days like they all blend, I imagine. So um, I don't know as a kid, but now – I like Thanksgiving way more than Christmas. Yeah. I like yeah. you don't have yeah. to buy people things they right. don't really need, like just for the sake of buying them. Right. Did you get the week off school or just the day? I think we got, well, at least Thursday and Friday. I don't remember. Yeah, because Annie has the that. entire week off. Oh. Yeah, I used to, I think that we got Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe. And, but yeah, now they have the whole week off. But also, a lot of kids have Fridays off now. I don't understand yeah. what that is. No, Annie does as well. I think it's, is it a charter school has Fridays off or a I don't private know. school? My I, nieces uh, and nephews are in Arizona and they have Friday off. Well, I heard something that it was like to try to save money for the school district or oh that, they were, that they were trying to, in order, they couldn't pay the teachers more, but they could give them an extra day off or something like that. All the way, I mean. But it depends on where that's you. That's crazy. I would say, yeah, that's a little odd because it's in different. I don't think in Arkansas they take Fridays off. Well, no, I know they don't take Fridays off in Arkansas or at least in well, Northwest Arkansas. I think Arkansas. it's weird that the schools aren't year-round here. Oh, they are in Cali. We are down a rabbit hole. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, 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 back to your children, podcast. Back. back to the podcast. Um, <laughs> back to Thanksgiving. Chat <laughs> about this. Was I drag food? Squirrel. Okay, you said that it was, was your interesting. favorite. That was interesting. Squirrel. You said it was your favorite holiday. Karen, was it your favorite holiday? Uh, I guess. Because, yeah, there wasn't the pressure of having to give presents. Uh, best Thanksgiving memories? Look, anything? I was just talking to my nephew about how... He he was telling me that he missed Thanksgiving at my house because Thanksgiving in Arkansas was always at my house. And so my nieces and nephews and, you know, um, of course, the adults came and I would cook. I would cook the entire week. Wow. Because I made all the desserts from scratch. We'd have oh, 20 to 30 it. people. At wow. My house. That's a lot. Yeah. So I made everything from scratch and everyone went home. With leftovers. So, you know, like Mm -hmm. when you're the host, you have a ton of leftovers. I love that. And then everyone that comes, they don't have 
you know, turkey sandwiches for mm-hmm. days or whatever. So everyone went home with leftovers. It was, it was, it was fun. The kids would play all day. All the desserts were made. So we were just making the mashed potatoes and green beans and whatnot. And then the kids had cleanup. Because <laughs> I, I did a lot of dishes that week. So they always had cleanup and they knew it. They would go in there and clean up. So that was our tradition for many years. And then, you know, the kids got older. And so now they're starting to have their own kids. And, and it just grew and grew and grew. Oh. So it was really sad for me when I when I left. And we didn't, we did, we wouldn't do Christmas Day at my house, but we'd do some yeah. kind of Christmas gathering. We'd do Thanksgiving at my house. And then we had a pool. So we had all those get togethers. I miss um, that. Was it like a sit down meal or was it grab a paper plate and sit anywhere? No, um, I didn't have room for everybody to sit right. at our table. So we would um, put like plastic tables out in the garage, the long like six yeah. foot ones. We'd put a couple of those out in the garage uh, with a tablecloth. And we did, a, we started a cool tradition. We bought these white tablecloths and we put Sharpies. Mm-hmm. And so every year people would sign and That's cool. write whatever they wanted. So then we would bring them out every year and then oh, we'll add, add to it. To oh, it. Cool. it was cool, yeah. That's genius. Yeah, I so, really like that. Yeah, that's why it's my favorite holiday is it's um, all about I'm, family. Like in contrast, I've noticed that here, because you do the big Thanksgiving, like in November, when Christmas rolls around, it can often just be like pizza. Like it's uh, not your whole, like in Australia we'd have the big Christmas meal, like your ham and... It'd be like a big, like it'd be like a equivalent to yeah Thanksgiving I, meal. A lot of people do that, and for me, like we just did all that a month ago. I'm yeah, not down that's with what that. I'm vibing mm-hmm. here. Yeah, you're done. We would do a nice dinner. Um, if it was a small group, we might do a prime rib, not yeah. for a big group because it's stupid expensive. Um, but or we would do. Um, I would make like a big lasagna or something that you don't make all the time because it's a lot of work, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We that's what we did at our house. Yeah. For, we still got we still had a get together with food, home cooked food. We just didn't have the traditional Yeah. What we consider traditional Thanksgiving. Well, I think they, do? they spread out the holiday so much. I mean, it's like well, people have already decorated for Christmas. It's not even Thanksgiving. I mean, it's like, Oh yeah. We, yeah. you know, Halloween that. is over and now it's Christmas. It's like, right. oh, two months at Christmas? That's a lot. Oh, mate, yeah. I'd go fall. <laughs> uh, no, I literally, I love putting the Christmas tree up, having the Christmas lights. Like, that is very comforting to me. Yeah, you remember that one year where you had the Christmas tree up? That was last up? year. <laughs> for months and, and you, months. <laughs> you decorated it for every season, oh, every yeah. holiday. I can't, I'm not going to lie. I got to August, the beginning of August. Wow. Yeah. And I did. I did the Easter tree. I did the 4th of July tree. Yes. It, yeah, everyone you just did. Liked of, decorating I did. I just tree. loved it. I mean, the tree was so beautiful. And plus, it was so bloody big. It was like 28 feet I'm tall. I'm going to take this down. I didn't know where to put it. <laughs> So yeah, when my um, when David and Will came over, we actually put it down. down. Sad because yeah. I now have to put it bloody back up again. Oh man, Aww. should have just left it up. Right. <laughs> what did you do for Christmas? Did you guys do the traditional? Not a lot. We usually got together Christmas Eve and just had a meal and stuff. So I mean, I had a real small family, so yeah. it wasn't. Did that you do big presents? Day. Yeah, the night before or yeah. on Christmas? Well, my day? Mo- my mother was was genius because she was working and she was always stressed out and always had too much going on and mm. you know having to buy kids presents she was like oh what am I gonna do so she had this great thing where she didn't have time to wrap things so that would be what Santa brought where they were unwrapped toys oh. under. and I was like what a great story <laughs> I'm like that was genius I love it and what about uh Thanksgiving what was your like? Did you have sit down? Or? Yeah, definitely sit down. Yeah. And, and um, just, like, how many people? What would be the average? Not, you know, I just had a brother, and then my fam, my mom and dad, and then just your an immediate, immediate family. family. And yeah. then once in a while, we'd have more extended people. Um, my mom had an uncle that was more like a grandfather to us, and he would Aww. split holidays between our family and then um, a, a niece on his other the other side of his family. Love it. Your family and, was spread out, right? Like your uncle no, we lives were, in Cali. Well, yeah, but we, it was just small. My mom only had one brother. My dad had a lot of siblings, but they were all split up. And I mean, I do remember one Thanksgiving where we went to my aunt's house, and this is hilarious because they lived in a like a trailer, 
and they were kind of bigger people. And I was pretty, I was probably like three or four. And I, I was worried that I was going to get sat on because <laughs> there wasn't a lot of room and they were big. That's and, cute. And I'm just like, yeah. I don't sit on me. That is cute. It's, it's kind of dumb. No, it's a, you know, a child's yeah, mind. Right. That's how you think. Mm, yeah. 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 100%. And, and my mom always had a great story about, um, so my cousin on that side, um, she was teasing him that, you know, she, they were cleaning up the turkey and all that and there was a turkey leg and she's like here chuck you know here's another piece of turkey for you and she was just joking around and he grabbed it and ate it (laughs) she's like oh my god (laughs) does this kid ever stop eating (laughs) oh my god God. so speaking of turkey legs what was your favorite food like the pies the no deviled eggs the favorite thanksgiving yeah like because i am quite partial to that little chocolate mousse thing that you make well, yes. what do you call that? It's like, yeah, it is like a mousse. I do like a, I home make a, like a chocolate pudding. Oh, so and good. And I do it kind of in layers. So the bottom layer is like this rich chocolate pudding. And then the, then I mix the pudding in with Cool Whip and make a second layer. And then oh, I do a real whipped cream. Cool Whip on top. <laughs> what is Cool Whip? Oh, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It was to be my job to make the, make the real whipped cream. Yeah, in Australia, we only have real cool cream. Yeah. None of this spray can stuff. Yeah. Maybe I'll make you that. Thank you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Before I'd, you leave, please drop me off a thing. <laughs> Probably after I get back. Okay. <laughs> uh, finally, one question. What are you grateful for? Uh, friends and family. Name names. <laughs> Amanda. Uh, of course, my wife, Deb. She has to be first. <laughs> Shout out to Deb. <laughs> yes. I I don't think we're ever going to get her on a podcast. I keep bringing it up. No, I was thinking we could just do a sneak one, like just record her (laughs) (laughs) and shove it on, play it back. There you go. She doesn't need to know. That's devilish. Let's be real. Is she ever going to listen? No. 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 We're good. We're safe. Karen. She she did listen when we were all in the room together that one time. We made her. We forced her. We held her down. We offered her free uh, drinks. Uh, what are you grateful for, Karen? Uh, everything. I mean, I'm I'm healthy, uh, wealthy, I, and wise. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that'd be nice. Uh, no, I, and I'm I finally feel like I've got my life in an area where I want it to be. I live where I love. I have great friends. Yeah, great animals. I'm the same. same. I feel very grateful for family, friends. Uh, the fact that you guys came over today, we're doing this podcast. <laughs> uh, the weather still being a little nice. Yeah, I'm just grateful to be here in America. Love it. Uh, my animals, family. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so what are you guys going to do this week? Anything? Oh, Thanksgiving, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three days of work, yay. Yeah, so Karen, you're around. Brandy, around. you're going. I'm pet yeah. sitting. Gotcha. I, I get into. Vegas, like at one a.m. Ooh, and then Wednesday I'll be baking all day. Well, it's my biggest day of work. Uh, Thanksgiving's very big for the newspaper industry, so yeah, I'll be slaving away while you guys all celebrate. But I will be cooking. Like I said, I'm going to cook up, cook up the meals. Um, it's been a pleasure having you both. It's always a pleasure, pleasure spending time with you. I don't know about the podcast. <laughs> that was, what, there's there's always a lot of good laughs, which I like. <laughs> it there is. is. There is. Uh, Karen has got to run off and have a massage. Oh, yes. yeah. Ooh, enjoy yeah. that. Have you been there before? Oh, yeah. This is oh, my damn. I was going to say, like, if I just showed up instead of you, would they know? <laughs> yeah, he would know. He okay. knows me way too well. <laughs> okay. Well, um, any questions or feedback, please reach out to our Facebook page. Leave us a voicemail. Links, of course, in the show notes. If you would like to support us and buy me a coffee next week, jump on to buymeacoffee.com forward slash get a USA. Check out our TikToks. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I will convince these guys to do a couple more with me. Rate and review us. And as we always say, guys... Give us five stars. (laughs) Or just walk away. (laughs) Wow. Just walk away. Bugger off. Um, Have a great week. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'm very grateful for you both. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. (laughs) I had to cough for 
so long. <laughs>